I just got up here to the mid-season coal crops. We always like to pick these in the morning just so it's fresh and the leaves aren't wilty at all. We're gonna be picking cabbage. We have three different kinds. We have the regular round, we have the flat right here, and then over here we have savoy, which is like a sweeter leaf that people usually use for piggies. And so we're just gonna get a mixture for again tomorrow at this grand farmer's market. Then the last thing for up here is going to be collard greens. I'm going to pick them. Eric's going to rubber band them and then we'll just throw them in a crate. We might try and get some broccoli, but there's not a lot left. So my mom might save that for the farm market because everything we're getting right now is for the Scranton farmer's market. So we are going to try and get some broccoli. Right here on the end is a beautiful head.
walk on the outside. That way you don't get soaking wet. Right. My socks are already soaked. So that was a pretty good load Eric and I got. Cabbage on the bottom, collards on top of this bin, two crates of kohlrabi, and then one crate of broccoli. Next up on the list, the guys and I have moved into the peppers. I'm getting on hots while they're getting colored bell. So I got three long hots. The guys got eight red bell and two orange. They're working now on two yellow back in the early season plastic. I came out here to the big field though because I wanted to check these out and see if these are any better, which I don't think they are from what I'm seeing. But what I do see is that these are loaded with huge, beautiful bell. Nice, blocky, good shape. That one's got one. Right here's two. Right there's a third one. And right there's a fourth one, and over there's a fifth one. And there might even be a sixth one on the back side that I can't see. The guys are out there finishing up. I just brought a load back in here. We've just been hammering today. While Eric and I were up in the field picking cabbage, collard greens, and kohlrabi, Marcus and Francisco were out in the field getting all of these pickles and cucumbers, which is one of the biggest pickings we've had yet. So I'm gonna get the Kubota unloaded, and then I'm gonna head back out and help Eric, and we're gonna bring another load in. That way, everything's out of the sun and in here in the shade ready to be washed. I don't mention it a real lot, but pickles, cucumbers, and zucchini are something that need to be picked in the hot heat of the summer every two days at most three. Because if not, you're gonna have really, really big of everything and nobody's gonna really want that. Most people want their pickles, I would say, between this size. Some people, if they're gonna quarter them, want them this size and they'll even take them a little bit smaller. But as a whole, I would say that's a good average, what we got going on there. Same with cucumbers. A lot of people don't like them big and fat because they say they're very seedy and they just don't want all them seeds. So we try and pick them just like this. Obviously, sometimes you miss one or two when you're going back through and you end up with a cucumber that looks like this. Now, somebody will take this, but there's not many that prefer that size. And the same goes for zucchini. People don't really want huge clubs, but if they're making zucchini bread, sometimes they don't really care. But I would say the majority of them, one of them about, I would say 12 to 15 inches long, not real fat, kind of skinny. People are picky. You know, they want what they want. And we try and give them that if we possibly can. So we just got all the colored bell in here. There is the two orange, all the red, and we did get two yellow and almost two baskets of beets before lunch. We went for lunch, came back and picked cantaloupe and watermelon. I didn't get the video though, sadly, just because 
there's a bunch of us that wanted to get done. I didn't want to spend all day out there in that heat. Came into the shed, washed all the pickles. Next, we're gonna wash the colored bell, red beets, and cucumbers. The cooler is really filling up. In here, this bin back there is the bin of cantaloupe and honeydew that we just picked, along with a bin of red seedless and yellow seeded and seedless over there. This bin right here of cantaloupe and this bin is from the previous time that we picked, which is gonna to go to market tomorrow. Here is the bin of cabbage, along with collard greens that Eric and I got this morning. And then here is just some of the peppers that we picked throughout the day. There is some long hots, there's bell peppers. Here is white potatoes that we got, I think yesterday. Over there is the red potatoes. We have cubanelle. There's all the pickles that we washed earlier. So by the way it looks, we should have a beautiful load for tomorrow. Basically, we're just gonna get that truck as full as we can possibly get it because it's Labor Day weekend, and this is usually the busiest day of the year. How many boxes did she have you bring? Just two. What's that? You can leave it there, that's okay. The cucumbers are really muddy. So we finished washing, mom came back with the guys. They got nine baskets of round tomatoes and eight baskets of plum tomatoes. And then also a couple boxes, I'm not sure exactly what they are. So all in all, I would say it was a really productive day. I'm gonna head down for the second time now today, feed the cows and head home. So that's what I'm gonna call it a wrap for this video. As always, thank you guys for watching and Dars remember it ain't much, but it's honest work.